Hi guys, it's Larry here with Southwest Florida Holsters and today I'd like to share a video on how I use a bandsaw to cut my neoprene foam for my Kydex presses. I ordered a half sheet of neoprene from foam4u.com and it came in a 22 inch by 72 inch roll approximately 18 inches in diameter uh, really nicely packaged um, and I'm going to show you how I cut that roll down into 11 inch squares. Um, unfortunately the roll comes 22 inches wide. There's no leeway there so you're going to be limited to 11 inch squares if you want to utilize the entire roll um, the best that you can. <clears throat> it would have been nice if it were 24 inches but there must be a reason that it's 22. I did get lucky on mine. It came 84 inches instead of 72 so I got two extra pieces out of my roll. I wouldn't count on that. Um, I haven't called to ask them if that's normal but uh, I anticipate that it's not because on the website it says 72 inches so maybe it comes somewhere between 72 and 84. I'm not sure. But I got lucky on mine and got 14 pieces instead of 12. Um, and the bandsaw isn't necessary to do this. It's just one option. Um, just basically letting you, in case you didn't think of it, and you have a bandsaw and didn't realize that it will cut foam, well, it will cut foam very nice. Um, I use a utility knife like this to do the initial cuts. And unfortunately, I screwed the video up. I thought I hit the record button, and instead I hit the shutter button. And uh, all I have is a snapshot of uh, slicing the roll up on the floor. The whole segment of me on the floor, ratchet John away, is, is gone. It's probably a good thing though. Um, anyway, this is the, uh, the type of cut that you get with the utility knife. It's, it's pretty ragged, but it's still functional. And I mean, that's, it's a square cut. If you're careful with it, you can make a nice cut. Um, but the bandsaw gives you much cleaner, nicer cuts. And uh, with the template, you end up with uniform pieces. Uh, they're all the same. So it's just uh, it's a nice setup. And if you like nice edges like I do, well then this video is for you. Basically, I take two pieces of wood, sandwich the, uh, the foam between the wood, and use the wood as a guide along the bandsaw blade. If you just hover along it, uh, the template should last for a while. You just have to be careful. Um, I want to apologize a bit for my absence on Facebook and the website. I haven't been uh, spending much time there. I haven't been going around visiting other sites. I've just been working my tail to the bone in the background trying to get my business going. So, uh, And I thank all of you guys that are subscribing. I mean, it means a lot to me. And uh, I am working like a madman in the background. So hopefully soon I'm going to be at a point where uh, I can make the announcement that we're taking orders. So uh, thanks again to everybody that's subscribing and hanging in there with me. If you have any questions, go to the website and fill out the Contact Me uh, page. Because right now I'm trying to insulate my emails to keep them out of the spammers. I haven't figured out exactly how to do that the best way. But right now, if you use the contact page, I will get the email. I'll return any questions that you have regarding the holsters or what's going on. So, And you can also post on Facebook. Um, I haven't been doing much on Facebook, but I'm going to try to correct that and see if I can't schedule some more time in. So sorry about kind of not being there, taking care of those things, but uh, I'm working like a crazy man. So with luck, soon we'll, uh, we'll have the doors open. So anyway, with that, let's, oh, I want to talk about bandsaws for a second and how important they are for doing Kydex work, especially if you're going to get into it with any uh, volume. Um, basically, uh, I do, when I cut my Kydex uh, blanks, I will set up a, a day I'm going to make a run of, you know, this holster or that. I will sandwich together anywhere from three to six pieces of kydex and cut them at one time. And as an example, I did a test on the little Harbor Freight 9-inch uh, bandsaw. This is 15 pieces of kydex and it cuts through it like butter. It's absolutely no problem whatsoever. And that's on a 9-inch Harbor Freight bandsaw. 
So uh, the only problem with this is you have to be concerned that if you mess up, you really mess up. You mess up 15 blanks of Kydex. So um, I routinely do six to eight pieces at a time without a problem. Um, I haven't felt the need to go this far up to 15, but I can see it in the future. So bandsaw, ultimately important in your, uh, in your toolbox for working with Kydex. And I plan on doing a video on cutting Kydex um, how to use a table saw, what blade to use. I use a table saw to do the main planks and then I use the te uh, a template on this and I stack up six pieces of Kydex and then the template and then just run that through the uh, bandsaw and then off we go to uh, the oven. So it, it's very good for if you're getting into volume. Um, so anyway, um, Hopefully I'll find some time to do these other videos that I have planned. I have a ton of things planned. It's just the problem is it's only me. I'm the photographer, the webmaster, the kydex crafter, you name it. So I don't have any help whatsoever. And I'm, I'm just swimming with things to do. So I apologize and uh, hopefully I will uh, get on top of this mountain soon. So anyway, thanks to all you guys that are subscribing and uh, hang in there because things will be happening soon. So let's move on to the, uh, the bandsaw segment and you can see how I cut these down and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here we are. We're going to make our, uh, our cut. Um, the foam comes with one decent edge uh, cut from foam for you. The other edge is a little ragged. So I use this edge to index from and uh, sandwich it between your pieces of wood. Try to line the wood up the best you can on this first cut so that you don't tear up your template. And uh, it cuts relative, uh, relatively, it cuts very easily. So, off we go. And there we go, two very uniform pieces. And uh, I'll cut through the rest of the pile. So here we have the results of slicing and dicing our half sheet of foam. 14 11 inch square, nice uniform pieces ready for the presses. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Uh, the bandsaw works really well for cutting foam. And uh, Anyway, 
that about does it for this video. Um, talk to you next time. So here's a little teaser video. This is a Harbor Freight 9 inch little benchtop bandsaw. <clears throat> and this is 15 pieces of Kydex. Sorry about that. I banged into the camera. Pretty close quarters here. 15 pieces of Kydex on a 9-inch Harbor Freight bandsaw. I think that's pretty impressive. Um, there's a nice little sliver slice. So there you have it, and it works equally as well on the 14-inch uh, the bandsaw. So I will get a video together to show uh, different things. This is, uh, let me see, uh, back this off here a second. I should, I'll edit this out if I can. Anyway, this is the, uh, the Harbor Freight, and it's a uh, custom-made little aluminum from Lowe's to uh, do the add-on table and a uh, little custom fence. Um, I really like this bandsaw a lot. Way, way better than the one at Sears. The Sears one is just, well, Sears has the exact same bandsaw, and then, uh, but their 10 inch bandsaw sucks, totally sucks. If you look at how you adjust the blades on it, it's a nightmare, total nightmare. I bought uh, cool blocks for this one, and uh, this is a 3 16 blade. I don't have an eighth inch blade for it, and it's still able to do uh, pretty good scrolls. So with an eighth inch blade, it would even be better. So anyway, this is just a little sampler. Um, I'm going to do the other video like I talked about, about the table saw and uh, both of these band saws. So until later. Okay, I figured as long as I was at it, I would do the 14-inch uh, uh, bandsaw too, so you can see. This is an 8-inch blade with cool blocks, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Pretty impressive. So anyway, that gives you guys some ideas. If you haven't thought about using a bandsaw or were curious, 
bandsaw is a, a must-have tool, especially if you're going to get into higher volume production.